Loading. Ensure all pre-arrival preparations are completed as per checklists and agreements between ship and shore during pre-cargo operations meeting. Duty officer must check the status of valve and proper lineup on deck and in CCR as per the loading plan. Once line setup has been confirmed and all required valves are opened, except the liquid manifold valve, advise shore for ship's readiness to load cargo. Chief officer must confirm with the gas engineer that relic compressors are in readiness to control tank pressure before commencing loading. After receiving confirmation from shore to open the liquid manifold valve, order manifold deckhand to open the liquid manifold valve to 25%. After shore has confirmed starting loading for shore arm cooldown, Chief Officer and Duty Officer must closely watch cargo tank pressure and liquid level. Time to cool down shore arm duration can vary from 30 minutes to one hour or more. Once the shore has confirmed that shore arm cool down has completed, vessel in agreement with shore needs to open the liquid manifold valve fully. Chief Officer and Duty Officer must pay attention to the following while loading. At the start of loading, a great volume of gas is generated. Avoid over-pressurization of cargo tanks. Increase loading rate after tank pressure has stabilized. Monitor cargo tank pressure and temperature continuously during loading. Monitor level gauge carefully to avoid misoperation. Loading rate must be suitably reduced during topping off. Monitor tank level visually through sight glass to compare with CCR liquid level while topping up tanks. Liquid level in port and starboard cargo tank is maintained at the same level. Filling limit of the cargo tanks should not exceed more than 98% volume level. Due allowance must be given to filling limit if loading supercooled cargo. If the tank liquid level reaches to 99.5% volume level, an emergency high level alarm will sound and ESD will activate automatically and manifold valves will close. After loading, boil off gas from the tanks to be reliquified by the reliquifaction plant 